God, it may be early in the day, but it's such a beautiful morning. Hey there, Stormboy13 here. Well, welcome to episode 4 of vlogging. So, let's try that again. Welcome to episode 4 of weather vlogging. And I decided to change the title at the very last minute. It was going to be called Hidden Miss Showers, but that could be done for another time. And actually, I think it's now a more t suitable um, title for the question. But today's weather vlog is, this is not actually the question, this is just a title. The weather vlogging is, today is, why is lightning so dangerous? And why I changed that title at the last minute. And I've also got quite a bit to tell you today, so... A couple of interesting weather stories going on around the world, so... And I'm going to be around Nottingham today, but I'll try and do a few vlogs here and there. Roddy intros! And the day will begin. Such a beautiful day out today. Today's weather, well, data filming today is Tuesday, the 30th of August 2016. Weather forecast today, we could get up to heights of around 24 degrees Celsius today with a lot of sunshine. Very pleasant to end summer. Well, hello there, hello, hello there guys. Welcome to episode 4 of weather vlogging of Why is Lightning So Dangerous? Well, as you know, um, Lightning isn't particularly safe to be at, out and outdoors, when we get severe weather conditions. Um, in the UK particularly, I'm not talking about the other countries, because they may have different um, points of views about the odds, but chances of you getting struck by lightning in the UK is 1 in 3 million. So it's very likely that you're never going to be struck by lightning in your lifetime. Now, as you know, um, why is lightning so dangerous? By the way, I'm in Radkin Park, by the way, so. Um, so, I'm doing a bit of weather vlogging, so let's see if I can get a shot. What happens is, if you do get struck by lightning, I mean, the chances of you getting struck by lightning is 1 in 3 million in the UK. If you have been unlucky to get struck, though, what happens is the lightning can hit, well, certain areas where you may survive or not. Now, um, particularly when you get struck by lightning, you may suffer from... I mean, you could even suffer from a heart attack or even a cardiac arrest, especially when the lightning may... You could have suffered easily a stroke when you get struck by lightning, and depending where the shocks go into your body, it may affect your brain, you could be in a coma for months, and you could possibly die from that as well, when you do get struck by lightning. So, um, that's why even though it's extremely rare to get struck by lightning, you must always stay safe. If you like filming weather, extreme weather, never be out outdoors. If you have to be outdoors, crouch down to your lowest area, you know, where getting struck by lightning is at its limited point. So, that's my main advice. Never ever be tempted to be outside during a big thunderstorm. Especially all across parts of the other across parts of the other world as well. So, obviously, Look at the view! It's just gorgeous! That is just stunning. That's Bradgate Park, by the way, we're on top. Just take a moment to just enjoy this beauty. And of all that I've got to tell you, there's been some very sad news today. Well, not today, but it's been the past weekends. In Norway, 323 deers died from a lightning storm. Um, also, a little bit of information. Um, a total of, I think there's about 3,000 deer living across around that mountain of Norway. Yeah, about 50 of them lost their lives over the weekend. So, yeah, a very sad time to be uh, out of the depths of those uh, ranges. Not ranges, just deers around Norway. 
So, um, yeah, it must have all been together when the lightning struck here. There must have been multiple strikes as well. So, um, obviously, um, hope things get better for them soon. Pauses are amused hereabouts. Uh, typhoon, um, lying, lying goal, whatever it's, the name is, um, has been affecting parts of Japan or will be affecting parts of Japan over the next few days. And, uh, Nothing major to worry about, there will be some flooding, hopefully nothing too major, just a little bit of interesting weather update news to tell you. And just before I close the vlog, um, so as you know, the main plot of this vlog is why lightning is dangerous. Lightning can take your life away, lightning can strike whatever it wants to. So that's why even when I film storms, I always keep a distance away, like I make sure I don't stand overhead of the storm. Um, Occasionally I, I will do that when I get a chance. I've just got to make sure um, when I do get a chance to just keep safe of how you film. Same to you guys as well. When you film extreme weather, keep a safe distance. Don't get overhead of the storm at times. Uh, lightning can take your life away, even if it is one in three million chance. And as you know, lightning, you know, the temperature of lightning can be about 27, 28,000 degrees Celsius. That's about surface of the sun, think about that. Maybe even hotter than that. So that could burn your body and you can easily die from stroke, cardiac arrest, heart attack when you get struck by lightning, shocks, um, and it can affect your brain and that's it, your, your life, your life thing goes off. So um, that's all i got to tell you about today. And it's just been a gorgeous day today. Um, I can show you the weather, it's about 24 degrees, certainly clear skies. It's just okay, I'm going to close the vlog for now. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And um, tomorrow's vlog will be what's summer 2016 like? Should be an interesting one. I'll have something. I'll have my mind up for, for tomorrow. And the question for the vlog is I think it may be easy, but what are the what is the actual name of a cloud? Describe them as thunderheads. Or what is the name of the clouds that produce showers or thunderstorms? I think you probably know. You'll find out on Sunday. Bye guys, like, comment, subscribe. Storms now out.